Yeah, it's, it's a really good question. It, unfortunately, in the industry, it's, um, it's, it's kind of a standard stereotype, uh, and it's a fair question. Our software system that we use, uh, first of all, gives us that accountability. What we can do is we can actively track that the guards are doing what you're paying for them to do. Um, but what we do is we find in this industry, it always pays to be extra specially cynical. So we would engage our mobile patrolmen um, to deploy to those sites um, every so often uh, to do random checks. I mean, they're unannounced checks. Um, so the patrolman would do his rounds um, and he would then stop in to, to check on the guard, have a chat, make sure everything's okay uh, before proceeding on his rounds again. It could be once a night, twice a night, maybe even three times a night that patrolman might pop in. We, we leave that down to the discretion of the patrolman. The golden rule is that we're there to check to make sure the guard is okay. Um, of course, the, the byproduct of that is, is there, there's an extra layer of accountability there. You know, you've got a completely separate set of eyes coming in to check on the guard. And of course, the patrolman also has the same software the guard using, so we can track their position at any time and make sure that they are visiting those sites when they say they're visiting those sites, according to our reporting system. For us, it's about transparency. You pay for service, we, we have to deliver it. There's, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But we also use you know, very, very carefully selected guards. Um, we built this business from next to nothing. Uh, we, we tried and tested staff, and that's the people that we keep a hold of. We, we retain the, the best guys, uh, and make sure that we're giving you the, the service that we promised.